Hello, me fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed today, I'm installing a car alarm, cheap, generic Chinese one. Yeah, you can find it all around the world, and they're generally the same. It doesn't matter the brand you buy it from. If you have two connectors, on one side is the central lock-in. Here is the controls, and you maybe have a button, depending if you have one cable less or more here. They're not well. Uh, it's it's going to be generic one. They're not well insulated so all of the water can penetrate and I recommend installing it inside the car. I already have a wiring harness from old alarm that was well protected and it's on the outside of the car and I don't want to pull cable so I install it out and I'll find a way to protect it. Now uh, the video is about the wiring harness and what you connect where. Uh, depending on your car you have to find the car cables yourself which is going to be a bunch of cables like this one half of them are not used because the old alarm had a few more sensors on it now from left to right red positive black negative for the LED for the signalization on the inside three wires here for the shock sensor <coughs> yeah blue one is going to ground and it's sensing when when it feels the ground it's sensing the door openings white one is uh, 12 volts when the car the ignition is switched on um, what is the next one or orange one it's sensing 12 volts from the brake pedal I'm not gonna install it because I don't want to sense it but that's the wire you uh, program the keys with green wire I'm just uh, looking what is it I think the green wire is the negative wire for opening the rear door the, the trunk lid I don't I don't have such an option in my car so I'll just leave it unopened but if you have a van for example can be very handy uh, the two brown wires I'll just point them together are for the side indicators or the side lights the red one is power pink one is the power positive one for the siren then we have the brown one. black is ground and yellow is um, for, a, for a relay to stop the power uh, for example to the fuel pump I'm not afraid of uh, someone stealing the car I just want to know when someone is tapping on it or uh, can me, give me such a signalization immobilizer on the car is running but that's like an immobilizer more expensive alarms have the immobilizer uh, inside so let's say these two wires are going to the fuel pump you can just plug them straight in now with this one it is getting live when it's unlocked and it needs to it needs a relay to work yeah the relay is not integrated inside but it's supplied with the with a kit and it's very poor quality one so I don't recommend using a relay with the relay that comes with this one now I have a negative uh, control on the alarm so these two are insulated these two two white ones are controlling the the ground and the two yellow ones are connected to ground okay so it's pulling the signal to ground when um, it's opening and closing the alarm okay that's it that's all there is to it to uh, learn the remotes you can go, go through your manual and it's explained how uh, it's a bit too complicated to explain it the, the controls are working if I have a problem I'll make another video but I'm not gonna even it, it involves pressing the brake pedal and switching the engine on and off uh, I'm not gonna even install it now I will, I will worry about it later I hope the video has been helpful to you give me a comment and I'll see you on the next one bye bye